Happy Valentine's Day, my friends. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresca. On this day of love, we've got some rain showers first thing in the morning, but by the afternoon, we've got some rapid clearing. Sunshine returns and take a look at those temperatures. Not a drop in temperatures, a climb in temperatures with a west southwest wind. That wind is going to drive temperatures close to 80 degrees. Here's a breakdown of where we could see more widespread coverage when it comes to the rain and a few claps of thunder, mainly north of I-10 north of the Houston area. 40% chance along the I-10 corridor, even less than that, the further south and west you go. So out toward Victoria and Palacios, your chances of getting rain today at about 20%. Quick moving cold front by mid to late morning. We'll see those rain chances peak and then it slides to the east by the afternoon and you can see the clouds go with that front as it moves into Lake Charles, into Louisiana during the afternoon. So the evening is looking pretty delightful. We'll see rainfall totals less than a tenth of an inch if you do see any sort of measurable rain. Otherwise, we will be drying out overnight. Uh, afternoon highs, as I mentioned, will be in the mid to upper 70s away from the coast, low 80s. Our record today at Bush Airport looks to be safe with a high of 79. The record is 83 degrees. Overnight lows should dip in the mid to upper 40s to low 50s. As I mentioned, not a lot of cold air with this. Something you will want to monitor overnight tonight into tomorrow will be some areas of sea fog to greet you out the door on Wednesday morning. The severe weather threat will be going up with our next cold front that arrives overnight Wednesday into Thursday. So by uh, Thursday, Thursday morning could be seeing a few scattered thunderstorms, isolated severe weather possibility. The morning not looking too bad, just some areas of fog and then widely scattered showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon. Again, that front doesn't arrive until after midnight in our northwest counties approaching Houston sometime before the sun comes up. So between between 5 and 7 a.m. A broken line of showers and storms and then that should clear the coastline as we approach the lunchtime hour. So by the closing bell, by the time you get ready to pick up the kids, two, three, four o'clock or so, the majority of that rain has tapered off and we will continue to see some clouds. So over the next five days, uh, not really going to see a whole lot of rain, but if you do uh, look for those rainfall totals less than a half an inch. We see a big drop in temperatures with that uh, cold front on Thursday. Falling temperatures a possibility will start off the morning with temperatures in the mid to upper 60s or rather 60s and then continue to fall through the day. You wake up first thing Friday morning with temperatures dipping into the mid to upper 30s. A cool start to the weekend with highs in the upper 50s and then we'll shoot those temperatures back up in the low 70s on Sunday. President's Day nice and dry with highs in the low 80s. All right, that's a look at your forecast on this Valentine's Day. Hope you have a great one.